President Trump is restoring America's access to outer space. Amid the latest militarization by mainland China, the Pentagon's UFO disclosures, and a fight with the deep state. When America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. We're launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttles back in 2011. Final preparations are underway for America's comeback to outer space as part of the most ambitious public-private partnership in the history of human civilization. On Wednesday, May the 27th, the Dragon spaceship, made by Elon Musk's SpaceX, will take off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida carrying astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken to the International Space Station. The mission, dubbed Demo-2, will restore America's space program, reversing the years of losses under the Obama administration. The United States government cancelled um, the replacement for the space shuttle, which was called the Constellation Program. And so we as a nation have been without a human sp spaceflight capability now for, as you mentioned, almost 10 years. Early on Monday, the Japanese cargo ship HTV-9 docked at the ISS and restocked the station with six tons of supplies, ahead of the arrival of U.S. astronauts. Meanwhile, last week the U.S. sent the mysterious space plane X-37B to the orbit, saying its mission is to conduct scientific experiments. For his part, President Trump recently unveiled the new flag of the U.S. Space Force, all of which suggests the U.S. may be bracing for something bigger than just scientific exploration of space. China is building nuclear thermal power propulsion capabilities to be able to maneuver in space. We know how to do that. And we can do it better. But mainland China and militarization of outer space are not the only risks facing the U.S. Last month, the Pentagon declassified UFO videos filmed by Navy pilots and documenting sightings from the years 2004 and 2017. Now some observers connect these disclosures to the timing of the Crew Dragon mission. Meanwhile, NASA is warning space enthusiasts not to travel to Florida to see the Crew Dragon launch citing safety precautions due to coronavirus or something else. If there were evidence of extraterrestrial... Well, I think my great, our great pilots would know. Uh, and some of them really see things that are a little bit different than in the past. So we're going to see, but we'll watch it. You'll be the first to know. But ahead of the historic flight, speculation is rife as to why President Trump decided to advance the space program in an unprecedented partnership with a private company. Some say this is partially because the president may suspect the latest efforts could be derailed by top government bureaucrats, also known as... The deep state. It's a vicious group of people. It's very bad for our country. In this light, latest allegations of ties between the Democrat cabal and mainland China, as well as growing allegations of alien threats, may explain the president's push to secure the final frontier. And just days ahead of the SpaceX mission, the president sent a message to his adversaries in the deep state. I'd like to put you on the rocket and get rid of you for a while. OK, thank you very much. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.